Hello and welcome to this next lesson in using augmented reality with Unity and this one comes from a request on the last tutorial which is rather than just clicking on the object that we can see and it popping up an object actually just come onto a canvas instead so a part of the proper camera facing UI so let's make a start on that so I'm just continuing where I left off with our scene there's going to be nothing new it's just a case of adding the canvas and some scripts to handle that okay so I'm going to right click I'm going to create a UI canvas um, and there we go, let's create the canvas and that's it, I'll leave it that for now. I'm going to right click, UI, um, I'm going to add a text box. So if I just double click canvas, we can't see it here because we are in the XR environment um, view. So I'm going to click on scene instead. So there we go, I can see my canvas. And it's, it's taking the shape and size of the camera width and height. So I'm going to bring this text up. Uh, I'm going to put mine to the left hand side, you can obviously design it how you see fit but experiment a little bit. Um, I'm going to run the text, I'm going to come down here uh, and I'm just going to just put hello AR just so you can see what's kind of happening. Now something I did miss is when you import this for the first time it will come up and ask you um, do you do you want to import TMP essentials? So I said yes I do but I did not install examples and extras. Okay, so that's what we'll, we'll need to sort of cover for that. Um, that will give us lots of options with these fonts and types and different settings, which I'll show you a bit more of shortly. So I've got the Hello AR, nothing fancy there. So I'm trying to resize it a little bit, but it's just fighting me a little bit because the arrows are in the way. Um, so I'm just going to change that around a little bit. Okay, so the other thing I want to now do is click on this little rect transform and I want to lock it to the top left corner. So this is if our camera sizes is going to be uh, relevant relative to this corner just here. The other thing I want to do, I'm going to come back to canvas, is I want to click on screen space overlay. I'll leave that for the moment. But I'm going to come down here to where it says UI scale mode. Obviously because we're thinking about using different cameras, different mobile devices, this is going to change. So I'm going to change this to scale with screen size. Um, I'm going to say uh, expand. So now if I was to sort of change the size of this, it should, well we'll see in the actual uh, in the actual demo when we simulate it shortly, um, because I'm going to add an extra component. So if I just click on a button, which we may need to do a button, uh, again I'm going to pull this over. I should really rename these now to something slightly more meaningful, more sensible. Um, so what I would envisage is I might have button, but I might have a text box in the middle with lots of extra information on, uh, but we'll come to that shortly yeah we will okay so I've got the button um, again I'm gonna lock this to that top left corner so just have a quick look at how this is gonna be displayed if I just press play take a moment okay so we can see we've got our AR we can see we've got our canvas uh, if I was just resize our window we can see it's sort of locking these into position and if the screen gets too small it starts to shrink it down but the button and the text box stay proportional to each other um, it, you can spend a long time just fiddling making the UIs just right and same in this height we can see it's shrinking it and that's really what I want it to do um, so again that was just the canvas and making sure we scale and expand okay so the next thing we'll do is just see if this button works so if I just come back into my project just to show it kind of works I can right click, I'm just going to create a quick C sharp script, which I'm just going to call this button test. Okay, so if I just open our button test, um, I'm going to create a public function, public um, click button. Oops, I've missed a little bit. Public void, so it's public minimum can access from Unity itself. Void is not going to return any type. Um, but I do want to put a message into our text box up here. Um, so I want to change from hello AR. So if I, to do that, I need to create a reference. And to do that, I need to include a new library. So I'm just going to call it using TM Pro because that's our, our text mesh pro um, library. Down here, I'm going to create a public text box, public TM Pro underscore text. So that's going to be our entire text box. Now, again, I should name this something sensible, but just for now, I'm going to call it text. When it becomes more meaningful to you, you can rename it. So I've got text. So down here, I can just go text dot text, which is why it should be more, more meaningful. Um, you clicked me. And this is just to prove that it is working. So if I just press save, 
come back into Unity and wait for it to compile. Okay, so I'm going to click on our, I'm just going to create an empty, which is just going to handle our UI handler. Again, feel free to call these whatever you like. Um, I'm going to now going to drag the code we just made, which was the button test. And we can see, once it comes on, it says there's no text. So all I've got to do is drag the text box all the way over to there. There we go. That's just lagged a little bit then. Shouldn't have done that. Um, and now when I press play, it should... It should, when I press the button, uh, change this text. And it didn't work. Okay, because what I've not done is linked the button to that code. So I'm now going to click on the button. And I'm going to come down here to where it says on click. What do I want to do? Well, I'm going to press plus. This adds an event. I'm going to drag our UI handler to our object. So this now knows it's linking that bit of code we put on. It says no function. I'm going to change it to button test. Come down to where I called it. Um, where is it? There we go. Click button. So now this button knows that when we press the button, trigger this function that we've just written. So now when I press play, we should be working. Okay, so I'm going to press the button. There we go, you clicked me. So, so if you wanted to have your user on the mobile phone or whichever device pressing buttons to, to activate menu systems, that's how we could create the button to work. Now, what I want to do is when I click on these objects, rather than coming up with this, I want to put some information over there. So that's our next step. Now I'm just going to load up the, the last bit of code we used, which I believe I called it touch test. Uh, again, you should really do something more meaningful. Okay, so same again. I've already got TM Pro included. Um, I'm going to come down here and do just what you saw me do a moment ago, which is the public, public um, oops, TM Pro text. Um, let's say, say I'm going to call this info box because again, it should be something more meaningful. So a public uh, public text info box. And now what I can do is come down to here and just say if it's Mars we're pressing, rather than instantiating the pop up. I'm just going to comment this out for now because I am going to use this later on. But just for this test, I don't need to use it. So I'm just going to just comment those out for the moment so it will no longer create the pop-up. But what I can now do instead is go, what do we just call it? Info box. So I'm just going to type in info box dot text equals, um, this is the Mars one, isn't it? Mars. And if I want to put a new line in, I should have just put slash n for slash new line. Um, let's go visit. I don't know. Obviously, we'd, I would put information there about Mars itself. And I can just quickly copy and paste this because I'm a little bit lazy. Uh, and I can just put Earth. Mostly harmless. Okay. So, save that. We'll come back to our Unity project. Okay, so if I just come into our XR origin, we know I've now got the code, but now it's added this extra uh, public variable. So just like before, I'm going to drag the text box across. So it now knows what it's talking to. I don't do the on vent click because we've already got it in the in the other bit of code which you've just seen. So if I press play, and hopefully this should work. So now when I click on Earth, there we go, Earth. Oh with a typo in it. I'll go and fix that in just a moment. Um, if I click on Mars, there we go. So we can see we've now got text. Now at this point, obviously I could go on to maybe make the button do something different, but we can see that's how I've got a canvas to interact. Um, to go a little bit further, what I can also do is because we can't see where the canvas actually is, we can put a background in it. So I'm going to right click. I'm just going to choose UI image, uh, just being because I want a neutral color. I'm going to make this to be, I don't know, Go on then, we'll make it black for now. Okay, we'll make it a dark blue. And again, please use your own graphic design choices. I don't have much of one. Again, we can't see it there. So back onto scene. There's my image. I'm just going to pull this over here. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. I'm going to resize it. In fact, I'm just going to use these uh, rect tools. So just pull this out. It's a bit easier to, to shape. And again, 
just like with the previous ones, I'm going to lock this to the top left corner. So hopefully it'll stay proportional. Now, obviously we've now hidden our our our, our other stuff, our other UI components. So if I was to, I mean, one way I could do it is I could pull this backwards. But notice it's still not visible, even though it's now behind them. So don't try and treat this as a 3D object. What we can do is just move the order. And again, I'm just going to change this to background colour. Um, just to make it easier to read. Um, okay, so that's now got a bit of a background on there. And again, please feel free to to play with this. You know, make it your own. Take a bit of time over making it look nice for your clients, for your users. So if I just come back into XR Environment and press play, we should see it's got now a background colour around it. Yep, again, not perfect. We've now got that little bit of a UI, and it's now in front of our objects, so it should be able to do the AR as we need. Um, and there we go. Obviously, that's outside the text box. So again, you need to sort of play and experiment and test things. Um, what I can do, I think, at this point is that's why it went over. If I put this text box back in and bring it right down here, that's where I could now start to to sort of play, uh, making things fit properly. And again, you can spend quite a bit of time uh, just getting these things just right. Uh, the other thing I can do is on the text. And this is something I used to do many years ago when I used to do video titles. Is if I was to say come down here, and this is why the TM Pro, the Text Mesh Pro fonts are really good. I can come down to extra settings, things on extra settings. Nope, a bit further down, color, outline. I like to do outlines. Um, and again, you can sort of, um, you know, to sort of increase the contrast a little bit. Can't really see much change there. Let's just mix things a bit. So, you know, again. I'll let you use your graphic design choices there. But I like to make fonts stand out a little bit by putting outlines or shadows or shaders. Okay, I think that will do for this tutorial. You now know how to put something onto your canvas. And then next time we will probably be looking at how we can export it to Android itself and also add some sound files. So if you want to play a little video clip or an audio clip, we can sort of do that. So again, I've got the whole... I've still not fixed that spelling mistake. But there we go, we have now interactivity where we could change the content. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. And of course, if you found this at all useful, please do remember to like, subscribe and leave a positive comment down below. See you in the next one.